Hi, today I'm going to share my experience with the Wacom One Creative Pen Display. The current price right now is $299. This is one of those small units that are designed for someone who maybe travels a lot, works on a laptop, but still needs the ability to create digital art using a pen. Uh, the small size means that it can fit in a laptop bag. Now, if you're working at home or in a studio, then I would always recommend getting a larger pen display. This pen display has a screen that's 13.3 inches in size diagonally. Uh, it is a full 1920 by 1080 p resolution. It covers 72% of the NTC color space and has a viewing angle of 170 degrees. It does not come with a stand, but it does have built-in foldable legs, which work great. Uh, the legs don't allow you to adjust the angle, but the angle that they do set the display at worked pretty well for me. The included pen is battery free and it has 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity. Also, it has 60 degrees of tilt support and one customizable button. There is the simple pen holder that's built into the top of the display. I actually like this better because by attaching it directly to the display, I know I'm not going to just misplace or lose the pen while I'm traveling with it. There is also a single cable connection on top of the display, which makes the whole setup look and feel a lot cleaner. The cable that is included is a USB-C type on one side and on the other side that plugs to the laptop, it splits into an HDMI plug, a USB type A connection for data and power transfer, plus an extra USB connection just for power, which pairs with the included AC adapter. And this is just in case your computer can't provide enough power over USB. I just wanted to let you know that Wacom did not sponsor this video. I did purchase it myself. Uh, this video is, however, sponsored by all of you who purchased my filmmaking tutorials and my custom LUTs on my website at TomAntosFilms.com. So thank you to everyone who supported this channel that way. And if you haven't and you want to check out some of the products I have on my website, then again, uh, head on over by clicking the link in the description of this video. So what are the good things about this pen display? Well, the, the built-in pen attachment, like I said, I really like. Uh, I also like that single cable for both the data and power and the video connections. It just, again, makes a nicer, cleaner setup. Uh, and I like those built-in legs. Now, the negative things. Uh, there are no customizable buttons on the side of this display, which is something that pretty much uh, every other manufacturer in this size of pen displays offers. Uh, also, I did notice a slight parallax. Also, another negative is that there really are no extras included with this tablet. Every other pen display I've used from other brands offers you like a, the glove for drawing, you know, like a microfiber cloth. Well, Wacom in this case did not include anything. So how does it feel to actually draw or create artwork on the Wacom One pen display? Uh, overall, it is really great. Like I said, aside from some of those minor setbacks, it still will work, will allow you to create a, a beautiful artwork. The pen is also very responsive. Uh, there was no issues with any lag. Uh, the pen is also very accurate. Like I said, if you're looking at the screen directly, however, just when you're viewing it at a slight angle, you'll get some of that parallax. This didn't seem to be too much of an issue for me since uh, I was using those built-in legs to angle the screen directly towards me. Uh, also, the display quality is overall pretty good. It's not the best colors, uh, for example, the sharpness that I've seen. Uh, but again, considering it's one of these cheaper, smaller screens, uh, it is pretty good, good enough at least to create artwork. I also like that it's screen size of 13.3 inches across uh, because I find that it's just small enough where it's good to travel with, yet also large enough to be able to comfortably navigate menus, for example, and read text. The whole display is nice and thin. It is very light, so it is great for portability. Uh, the only thing that is disappointing is the fact that uh, at this price point, Wacom didn't really include anything extra, not even those customizable buttons. Wacom does include a free software package, but after installing some of it and then kind of looking around, I quickly found out that these are mostly just free trials that expire after a few months and then really just force you to have to pay a monthly fee if you want to keep on using it. So I wouldn't really call this as free software, but more of a, like a time-limited sample. I think Wacom being a leader in drawing uh, tablets and pen displays for over 40 years, it just simply decided here to release an average product for a higher price than other brands and are simply hoping that their brand name uh, would make people fork out that extra cash. Now, maybe this strategy is actually working for them. I don't know. Definitely their larger displays are great, uh, but those also come at a premium price point. 
Of course, these days with more choices from competing brands and many at much cheaper prices, uh, I wonder if Wacom just didn't overprice this pen display. If you are a Wacom fan and don't mind paying the premium price, then this display will do what you need it to do. Uh, however, if you're looking for the best bang for the back, I would advise looking at some of the other competition. And I have other videos where I review similar size pen displays uh, from other brands that might help you make the right choice. Uh, to see those, as always, go check out my website at tomantosfilms.com or browse here uh, through my video library. That's it, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.